Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Fontech over here with another video. And first of all, guys, I want to thank you for 7,000 subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Love you all, guys. I mean, I promise to push better content with time, so I'm doing my best to improve. Uh, plus, guys, in this video, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 on iOS 12 beta 2 to an iPhone 6 on iOS 10.3.3. So as always, stay tuned. All right, guys, gonna put up both devices here. So the one with the broken screen is on iOS 10.3.3. And this one is on 12 beta 2. I'm gonna put them both up here. And guys, I'm going to be replacing the screen soon. So really soon, guys. I just uh, haven't had much time. So I was traveling and stuff, so I didn't do that. Sorry for that, but soon, guys. Hopefully with the next beta, I will have a better screen or the beta after that maximum. So let's see which one will be faster. Uh, usually iOS 10 is faster than iOS 12. I'm putting up to now, guys, from the second beta. So yeah, it is actually faster and it's actually super fast. Waiting for iOS 12, beta 2. And here comes 12 beta 2, so like three to four second difference. You guys, both phones here have nothing running in the background. So I'm gonna start with the calendar. And that was actually about the same. Going for photos. Not sure about that. Leaving, going for camera. That was definitely faster than iOS 10. Going for maps. Next up, guys, weather app. And definitely iOS 10 is faster here, but it's iOS 12, of course. Clock, about the same. Going for HomeKit. And that was actually, okay, that was actually faster than iOS 10. iOS 12 took some time, phone. And phone was about the same, going for Safari. And both link Apple to come. So definitely faster than iOS 12, 10 guys, sorry, and going for, click on Apple logo here. See which one will load faster, and that was pretty much identical guys. Going for settings. So yeah, iOS 12 is faster here, good stuff. Next up guys, reminders. Both taking some time, that was definitely faster on iOS 10. I want to say the guys, both phones have night shift off, so the yellowish tint on the iOS, on this phone, just because of the screen. So it has nothing to do with the iOS itself. Next up guys, FaceTime. And that was faster than iOS. I mean, it did load faster than iOS 10. Going for podcasts. That was, okay, that was faster than iOS 10, guys. So basically, almost everything now is faster than iOS 10 still. So now I'm just gonna jump to third party apps, guys. Or before that, just going for calculator. And that was about the same, honestly. Now, guys, third party apps. So on to the benchmark. And okay, definitely that was faster than iOS. 10, but iOS 12 came right behind, it was really fast as well, so comparing it to iOS 11, for example. And here, Mario Run, let's see which one will be faster here. Or the difference won't be big, at least. Okay, so iOS 10 finished loading. Let's go. Here comes iOS 12, so there's some difference there. Next up, guys, going for Instagram. And some hesitation there actually when I clicked Instagram, but I'm not sure which one was faster. Definitely iOS 10 was faster loading. And they're both running the same internet network, so iOS 10 clearly wins going for YouTube. YouTube is one app where actually iOS 12 is sometimes faster. Yep, definitely. No, no, no actually iOS 10 is actually loaded faster. eBay. Both things some time, and actually it was faster than iOS 12, good stuff there. Going for Yelp. That was about the same though. iOS 10 was faster. Next up guys, Geekbench 4. Oh wow, that was actually faster than iOS 12. So guys, I wanna say that some apps are actually being faster than iOS 12. Though guys, for example, iOS 11, everything was slower basically on iOS 11 comparing it to 10. So here's some apps that are actually doing better. That was identical, for example. Good stuff there, and yeah, that's something good to see. I mean, unlike iOS 11, iOS 12 is do doing better, guys. Next, next up, guys, Temperant 2. So they're trying their best to improve the iOS, the iPhone 6 over, over what happened last year, it's over iOS 11. But still, iOS 10 is really perfect, guys. I mean, it's a, the latest version of iOS 10, and this is the second beta of iOS 12, basically. So as you can see, there is some difference. 
This one is ready to go. It's still loading. So definitely, guys, some difference there when it comes to loading in front two. Leaving. Leaving was, yeah, both did actually hesitate a bit. Took some time to actually leave. Going for subway surfers. Some hesitation, hesitation there on iOS 10 launching the app. iOS 12 didn't suffer. It actually immediately went to it. But let's see at the end which one will load faster. Loading bar appeared first on iOS 10. And iOS 12 still not. Okay, so iOS 10 is done. Definitely way before iOS 12 is. Here comes iOS 12, so it took some time. Now guys, going for PUBG. Though guys, one problem with PUBG is that usually it crashes on iOS 10. So like after a third attempt, attempt it actually loads the game basically as something. So uh, with iOS 12, it launches from the very first time. Though I think it's a problem with iOS 10 itself, so it's not maybe compatible or something. Both are taking some time here, but they seem identical. So yeah guys, I was sent it did, did cra crash there guys, the game actually froze. Or no, actually didn't. Wow. But for some weird reason, this phone is already in the game, though this had to load guest. I'm, I'm not sure why this happened. But yeah, guys, there you have it. It's so gonna load the game to eat up more RAM and then compare, you know, multitasking to make it fair enough. So it seems like iOS 12 is actually faster. Not actually, no, iOS. Okay, just gonna click on that, okay, at the same time. And let's see which one will be faster here. Seems like, I okay, definitely iOS 10 is faster. Both phones are actually kind of smooth. They're not bad with the game at all. So going out. Now guys, it's start time for some multitasking, though I uh, just want to say that PUBG would actually consume all the RAM, so... I mean, I think all apps will refresh, but let's go for it. Calendar. Wow. So iOS 10, good stop there. Then refresh calendar. Going for photos. Wow, good stuff on both devices. Camera. Maps. People have to refresh. Weather app. Good stuff there on iOS 10. Clock, home. Okay, home had to refresh on iOS 10. iOS 12 kept in the memory, guys. Good stuff. Phone, Safari, settings, reminders. No refresh on iOS 10. iOS 12 had to refresh. But though, guys, iOS 12 is actually competing well. But iOS 12, uh, iOS 10 and 12 are competing well. I mean, iOS 12 is really trying its best compared to iOS 11 with refresh everything. So there is some difference. I refresh on iOS 12 here. But it's keeping some apps in the background. It's something at least. Podcasts. Calculator. And to the benchmark, which always refreshes. Mario Run. Instagram. Wow, good stuff on iOS 12 here. YouTube. Refresh on both. eBay. So I think iOS 10 had to refresh it, though iOS 12 didn't. Yelp. Wow, so iOS 12 didn't refresh it, kept it in memory successfully, and this actually failed. Geekbench 4. Google Earth, Temperan 2, Subway Surfers, finally guys, PUBG. Is it possible? Nah, okay. Both phones have to, re have to refresh PUBG. Though guys, uh, iOS 12 is not that bad, the management is really good, it's comparable to iOS 10. 
not like iOS 11, which will refresh every single app or keep one or two maximum. So it was really sad that iOS 11, iOS 12 is actually improving here. Now guys, for a Geekbench 4 test, like always, and just run benchmarks. Right guys, both phones are done here. Once you did a single core is identical, just like guys, with the iPhone success I compared the other day, single core is identical, though like always, multi-core is better on iOS 12. That's good stuff there. I mean, iOS 12 is always better uh, multi-core score, but single core is always the same, guys. I mean, like last time, it was random and it's funny. But good stuff there, so it's not lower. It's, it's actually the same and higher, so it's good to see that. Now, guys, finally, for into the benchmark. And you see the scores are about the same here, so just going to test again. All right, guys, here we have it. So both phones are done. I want to say that, the, like always, the one on iOS 10 does score better. I'm going to show you the scores here. So CPU is actually better on iOS 12. It's good stuff there. GPU on iOS 10. UX about the same, though iOS 2, 10 was better. And RAM was better on iOS 10, that's clear. Clicking on stuff here. This is scores. I guys want to point out that this phone has only 5% wear level, guys, so maximum battery capacity is 95%. This has a 15% wear level, guys, which I can't really show because of uh, iOS 10. Uh, but the thing, guys, is that this phone only goes 15%, so still lost less battery than this, plus 17%, 15% here, with a higher wear level. So, guys, definitely iOS 10 is still better with, with battery, as well as multitasking. Well, actually, multitasking, not really. But uh, CPU-wise, speed-wise, and battery-wise, definitely, guys, iOS 10 is still better. Those are the second beta, so so optimistic. Hopefully, stuff will change till the end. All right, guys, there you have it. So that was a test. Once again, guys, the RAM management is about the same, guys. So some apps were refreshed on iOS 12, some were on iOS 10, some on both. But yeah, it was about the same, guys. It was so comparable here when it comes to RAM management. Battery-wise, battery -wise, it's still battery life is still better on iOS 10, of course, guys. Plus. CPU wise guys, launch app launching is actually still faster on iOS 10 for sure guys. So we still have a second beta, stuff may actually end up being good at the end, so after like 7 betas from now hopefully. But it looks good for a second beta guys. So I hope you guys like the video, subscribe for more content and peace out.